This is the microphone with the filters being turned off in OBS. This is the microphone with the filters in OBS being turned on. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to improve your microphone quality in OBS. Now to do this there's just going to be three filters we're going to be adding on to the microphone. Compressor, noise gate and noise suppression. Now this can be done in two minutes, it's very very simple but there is a dramatic change and I highly recommend you use it whether you're live streaming or recording videos with OBS. So here we are in OBS and yes, before we go any further, I would like to point out I do have two, B two OBS open. The reason for that is because one is recording OBS and the other OBS is what I'm going to be adjusting the settings on. So this settings makes a dramatic difference to your videos, whether you're live streaming or recording. So at the moment, uh, what you're seeing from this OBS on screen is the raw audio. So I'm just going to take a moment to sit in silence and you're going to be looking at the gain volume of the microphone and how much background noise gets picked up. So just remember this now and then watch it later on. Okay, that's fine. Now, when you just listen to that, you wouldn't hear the background noise. And the reason for that is simply because the audio has already been edited. However, the video you saw at the start that is the raw audio. So the first thing you want to be doing is coming, making sure you on your microphone and you want to turn down the gain. You'll notice my gain is already at minus 7.2. And for me, it's actually turned out to be a very sweet spot in order to get very crisp, clear audio. Now for you, of course, it does depend on your environment. And it also depends on the microphone you're using, how well it's going to pick up your audio or not. But anyway, once you have adjusted the gain, what you want to do is come up here to the uh, toggle uh, the settings on the microphone and then head over to filters. From here, we're going to be adding on three filters. We're going to be adding on compressor. We're going to be adding on the noise gate and we're also going to be adding on noise suppression. So just add all of them on. The first thing we're going to be changing is the compressor and this is where we will be making most of the changes. For the ratio, we're going to set it to 2. For the threshold, I'm going to set it to minus 10. For the attack, I'm going to set it to 20. And for the release, I'm going to set it to 1. Now, take a moment, pause the video if you need to, and copy them settings. This is for compressor. Now, for whatever reason, if this does not suit your microphone, just adjust these settings slightly, not a lot because if you adjust it a lot, then it can be a complete mess. However, I do believe these settings will work for you. We're then going to head over to noise gate and where it says close threshold, we're going to be changing this one to minus 30. And for the open threshold, we're going to be changing this to minus 24. Everything else, we're going to leave the same. And we're going to head over to noise suppression. For noise suppression, we're actually going to leave it default. So by default, it's going to be at minus 30. If not, make sure it is. Now we're going to close this and you'll see this time when I stop talking, we'll notice if the background noise is being picked up again. As you can see, incredible results. It went completely blank, which means no background noise is being picked up and the microphone audio quality sounds a lot better. It's actually a very dramatic difference using these three settings, which are very simple to set up and very quick to do as well. So if you do want to hear the audio comparison, I did show it at the start of the video. However, I will also be playing it now to end this video. This is the microphone with the filters being turned off in OBS. This is the microphone with the filters in OBS being turned on.